Stevenson falls to Gettysburg tonight, 14-12. to Glenn Clark with head coach Paul Cantabene. Coach, uh, your team put up a hell of a fight tonight. I know you're still probably disappointed that you didn't come up with the result you wanted. Well, we played hard. I think it was, I thought it was a great game. You know, back and forth a little bit. We went up early. They came back. We made a run. And then we kind of made a little mistake there to give them that 14th one. And, uh, you know, we you know we just kind of made some mistakes. What I give them credit for is that they made plays when it mattered the most. Some tough ground balls, one a tough face off when they needed it. And we didn't, you know, so we had some opportunities when it was 13-12 there, and I didn't think uh, we made some great choices. And so, um, but their goalies made some big saves when it mattered the most, and uh, we're close, you know. Again, we're getting closer and closer. I think we're playing better every week and getting to that good spot, and that's a great team. And we knew that was going to be a very violent game, which it was, and very physical, and and uh, not, not a lot was called. I think a lot could have been called, <laughs> but it wasn't, and uh, and just the way it was. So, you know, I give our guys a lot of credit. We battled. We're, we're another step closer. So, you know, we're not worried about the result as much as how close we're coming. So there's a little little couple things that we need to get better at and uh hopefully we'll get there so let's let's start with the good uh i thought face-offs i thought this was a big night for justin bordner what did you see from him and you know did, I, I know you've been high on him where did that come from a big effort well you know he's gonna get there you know i mean just told you it was a progress is all along we're gonna get there and we struggled he's a freshman got a lot going on transferred in and uh you know it's really tough for people to fit in and do that and so he's we started to buy into some of the things that i i, I teach and i'm doing and i uh, thought he did a really good job and Haplin came in and rested him and did a couple really good things as well and so we're getting better at that position you know and i think we'll just continue to get better and give ourselves a chance and uh, it was great to see justin have a good day and help us and he needed that and hopefully we can just keep that going forward i think it goes without saying in the getting better department still trying to get there with the clears still kind of just a couple possessions you're giving away well, yeah you know, well i think both teams you know struggle there at times you know we got them a few times and and uh we got but we also scored a couple goals yeah. off our, our clear when they were 10 man in us we did a great job ryan quinn hitting it a couple times we, we got it a few times and but again i think the guys just sometimes panic searing there in the end sees a guy he panics and the ball just goes in the ground we got to be stronger with the ball there and uh, you know we got to show ourselves a little bit better on uh, those situations and so um we'll continue to get better i think that the mistakes we're making that we're trying to do the right thing but we're just not seeing the whole thing in front of us and sometimes that kind of hurts you we can coach me do things and but Sometimes they don't always make the things they don't do the things you ask them to do. And then I, I, the other the good you got a couple bodies back tonight. I know obviously not a hundred percent with guys yeah, like Cam yeah. and, and Nick, but yeah. just good to have him back out of the field. And as you talk about getting closer, where you're progressing to? Yeah, well, I think we kind of rushed Cam a little bit. I didn't think he, you know through the course of the game he didn't look himself at all. So I just think that he we kind of rushed him. He probably could have used a, another week uh, to get there, but we'll give him some rest during the week uh, to get a little better. But Nick played great. I thought you know, he did a good job. Made one little mistake and a clear trying to run by somebody, but. Uh, you know, he played really well, so it was good to have him back, and those guys made a difference. You know, you win some face-offs, you get some better players back, you play better. It helps. All right, Coach, I know it was a, a tough result, but a heck of a game. really was a, heck, a very entertaining game tonight here at Mustang There's Stadium. No There's no doubt. But we'll be back. We get to play another top-10 team on, yeah. on uh, uh, Friday, and then we get to play two more next week, and we get to play another one the following week. But, uh, you know, I think the result for us is that we're getting up. We're being a better team. We're not an easy out. We're going to compete. We're not going anywhere, and we're going to play really hard all game, and we're getting better at the positions that we need to get better at uh, in order to compete and I think that says a lot for what we do and our, and our guys are getting tougher they want to win and they're doing the right things it might be disappointing but I think we're trending in the right direction I mean, probably worth shouting I thought your goalie played really well tonight yeah, too Justin's played great all year you know so give yourself a chance and I thought their goalies played great too you know even the one kid got hurt but in the first half we had four or five layups in the middle there and he made all those saves or layups you gotta you gotta hit your layups and we missed them all right coach appreciate it as always we'll see you back here in two weeks for the Mustang Classic can't wait Paul Cantabene, I'm Glenn Clark. I want to make sure I thank everybody who made our broadcast possible, the sports information departments of both schools.